Hi folks, Rodney back again. Real quick video here. Uh, I did a, a video when I first got the truck and was talking about the fake engine noise. And I, once I posted that video, I had a technician from, I believe it was a Lexus technician, uh, actually sent me a comment saying, hey, it's not fake noise. It's actually an enhancement uh, from the intake on the motor. Uh, so anyway, the only way you get that, that noise as it is, uh, is if you have the upgraded JBL audio system. Uh, and when you do, uh, obviously it's piped in through the speakers and some people like it, some people hate it. Uh, I personally like it myself. It sounds more like a V8 than the V6. Um, funny, when I roll the window down and I, and I accelerate, it sounds like I'm driving my Tacoma that I had. So anyway, uh, take it for what it's worth. Uh, but anyway, I had a friend of mine just purchased a, a, a Tundra TRD Pro. And one of the things that uh, his truck has was the TRD dual exhaust. And he said it just didn't mesh up. You know, the noise that you would get from the intake versus what you got from the exhaust. He said it was just totally different and it didn't sound right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So he actually took it in. And so there is a way to deactivate that. And so, uh, Jerry, I appreciate you sending me the information. Um, he got the information uh, from pickuptrucktalk.com. Pickup uh, but anyway, they posted and it says you can take it to the dealership. <clears throat> Excuse me. The tech can hook up their scan tool to the OBD2 port. Uh, then going into the settings, they would uh, follow the active noise control, then utility, then customize, uh, then others, and then ANC slash ESC. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, see if I can get it to pull up here in the picture. Um, I can't tell if it's focusing in or not. But uh, if you guys could not see that, uh, feel free to just reach out to me. Let me know. I can send you a copy of this. And uh, you can go ahead and, and get it deactivated yourself if that's something you'd like to do. But like I said, that is possible. Um, so there again, just let me know if I can help with that. The other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to talk about... Uh, updates. So some people are still having issues with the infotainment system. Me personally, the issues that I was having, once Toyota did the update and I downloaded it, I haven't had any issues whatsoever since. So I'm going to flip the camera around here so you can see the screen. I do uh, apologize ahead of time. It's going to be blinking because of the LED refresh rate. Uh, but in order to get to the updates, you would hit settings, scroll down to software update telling me I currently don't have any any updates available but if you did have that's where you would go to to uh, download that update uh, and it would tell you also I noticed that when the update was available there was a pop-up on the screen let me know that it was coming in <clears throat> excuse me just so people know the 14 inch screen has absolutely nothing to do with the stereo system the settings would be the same uh, so if you were to take that monitor off the head unit is exactly the same no matter which truck you have. Uh, it's just the upgraded 14-inch uh, monitor that you get with the... Um, well, you can get it on the SR5 Premium Package, but you get it with uh, the Tundra Limited. Uh, you also get it with the Platinum. You get it with TRD Pro. Uh, you get it with a 1794 edition. So anyway, any other questions I can help with, please don't hesitate to reach out. But like I said, uh, that's where you go to get your updates. You can... Uh, remove that fake engine noise as we like to call it um, but anyway thanks again for watching the video if I can help with anything else you have any comments feel free to drop me a comment there please take the time to like and subscribe and share it with your friends thanks again